What was it like to take your first international trip? Well, it's embarrassing that I hadn't taken a first, uh, you know, an international trip until now. Um, so much of my life, uh, especially my adult life, was dominated by the fact that I was so much heavier than I am even now. So, probably from the time I was in my mid twenties, I was about 160 pounds heavier than I am now. So, traveling wasn't even something I thought about. It wasn't something I thought one way or the other about. I thought I would like to do it someday, but never really planned anything. So I planned this, and I was a little bit concerned about the length of a flight. You know, I'm still a big guy. I thought, that, you know, the seats are going to be small, but it was nothing. You know, hopping on a plane and going somewhere, it was the easiest thing I ever did. You know, the hardest thing was probably sitting down and getting a passport, and that wasn't even that hard. But it's some kind of weird barrier that keeps people from saying, you know, I can just do this. I could just as easily hop on a plane and go to the west of Ireland as I could hop on a southwest flight to Baltimore. And once I bought the ticket, I realized it wasn't really any different. And it was easy to do, and it was probably one of the best things that has ever happened to me. And I now have the bug. I will travel <laughs> once or twice a year internationally, and I hope to see the world by the time I'm an older man. I hope to see the world by the time I'm a younger man. <laughs>